Back in 2013, there was a study done by an entity called Reboot Illinois that said Marion County had the 10th highest meth lab seizures in the state since 2006. Centralia, Illinois is a one hour drive east of St. Louis. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen this already, there's a link down below that shows you an interactive map on all of the places that I've made videos on. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is click on the link to the map and then click on a pin that will take you to a link of said place. One of the more interesting things about Centralia, Illinois is that it is located within three different counties. Most of the city is within Marion County, however small parts are also within Clinton County and Washington County. Also, Centralia is not the county seat for either of the three counties. What Centralia is, however, is a city with that of a struggling economy. The sluggish economic growth over about four decades worth of time has created other issues for this city as well. In this video, we go all in on exploring Centralia. Centralia, Illinois. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I do start the video at the, where else? The local Walmart. Now that I have my two liter of Mountain Dew, I start heading towards downtown before heading towards the high school. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep up with the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If I go too fast for you or if you think that I'm going too slow, you can always adjust the playback speed by selecting the gear icon if you're watching on PC or by selecting the three dotted menu if you're watching on a mobile device. Isn't YouTube great? Also really quick, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on my channel. Videos on other places like Centralia can be found in my Illinois playlist or in my USA Small Towns playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. One of the first things that I remember seeing upon entering Centralia is this giant strip mall that had a huge parking lot with weeds growing in between the cracks of the pavements, but also I remember seeing this caboose right here. This caboose. That that was fun to say. It's located within Fairview Park, which appears to be the town's gathering place for community events. This uh, caboose, however, seems to resemble that of the heydays that Centralia had as a railroad town. Back in the day, Centralia's economy was largely dependent on coal mining and having the railroads running through. Centralia was named after the Illinois Central Railroad, which is the East and West Railroad that ran through town. Agriculture is also strong in this region as well. Always has been, probably always will be, just like it is everywhere in Illinois outside of Chicagoland. However, today there just aren't that many jobs available in the region surrounding Centralia, and that's led to a continuous population loss over time. Well, I never felt more welcome to a town than I did after seeing this friendly liquor and tobacco store. Okay, that was a mean joke. Anyway, Centralia hit a peak population of 16,000 in the 1970 US Census, and since then, Centralia has lost 4,000 people and is down to an estimated population of 12,000. That's a loss of 25% of the town's peak population. The county that Centralia is mostly in, which is Marion County, had a peak population of 43,000 in 1980, while today, Marion County is home to 6,000 less people, with an estimation of 37,000. The median house 
household income in Centralia is $36,000 per year, and 25% of the town's residents live in poverty, or one out of every four. That's a pretty high number. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $62,000, compared to the national median of $210,000. Only 16% of adults 25 and older here hold a bachelor's degree or higher. Niche.com ranks the public schools as a C+, so those could be doing better, but I suppose they could also be doing worse. However, the worst stat in my opinion about the city is the violent crime rate as that is 1,473 for every 100,000 residents. That's a higher violent crime rate than Chicago to put that in perspective. The national average is 382 for every 100,000 residents. The property crime rate is also fairly high, with it being twice the national average. One of the most notable events to have occurred in Centralia, Illinois' history is the 1947 coal mine disaster. The event occurred on March 24, 1947 as the number 5 coal mine in nearby Washington County exploded and caused 111 fatalities. I'm sure that there are plenty of locals that reside here today that still remember that unfortunate occurrence. What's ironic about coal mining in Centralia, Illinois is that there's another town called Centralia in Pennsylvania that has had a coal mine fire burning under underneath the town since the 1960s as a coal mine was located directly beneath the town. Centralia, Pennsylvania is now a ghost town as the government forced everyone to move out due to the hazards of the underground coal mine fire. Back in 2013, there was a study done by an entity called Reboot Illinois that said Marion County had the 10th highest meth lab seizures in the state since 2006. In the grand scheme of things, 2013 wasn't that long ago, and I highly doubt that drug usage in Centralia and the surrounding area has gone down much. In rural struggling towns like Centralia, drugs and crime often go hand in hand, which partially explains the enormous violent crime rate for Centralia. Among the top employers in Centralia is St. Mary's Hospital with 750 employees. Following that, it's the State of Illinois Warren Murray Center with 565 workers. Kaskaskia College comes in third place, followed by the Centralia Correctional Facility, and a company called Graphic Packaging tops out the top five. Since Centralia relied on coal mining in its early history and coal continues to be a resource that is falling in demand across the country, Centralia has had a hard time finding a new identity. It also doesn't help that it's local located within the state of Illinois, as Illinois has the second highest property taxes in the country. The incredibly high state taxes has made communities the size of Centralia unattractive for companies to move in and expand their operations. It also doesn't help that only 16% of adults have a bachelor's degree or higher in Centralia, as that's another demographic stat that companies look at when they're looking to expand. However, there are plenty of small cities in Illinois that have a more educated workforce and talent pool that also haven't been seeing jobs growth. And once again, that's mostly believed to have been caused by the high taxes within Illinois, as other nearby states such as Missouri, Kentucky, and Indiana are much more tax friendly. On the right is Centralia High School. The boys' athletic teams go by the Orphans, and the girls' athletic teams go by the Annies. Among the most notable people from Centralia is James Brady, who was the White House press secretary when Ronald Reagan was president. Gary Gaietti is also from here, who had a long Major League Baseball career that was highlighted with a 1987 World Series win while playing with the Minnesota Twins. This appears to be a nicer part of town with newer housing, which makes sense as it's located right next to the high school.
I'm still in the southeast part of the city and currently I'm making my way over towards Womack and the southwest part of Centralia. On the left here is the former Irving School and currently it appears to serve as a church. On this upcoming stretch you'll be able to see some houses that still look like they're in good condition but you'll also start to see property values fade and there are some vacant lots scattered here and there and that's what's expected when you come across a town that's lost 25% of its peak population.
Currently, I'm in the far south central portion of Centralia. In town, there's a pair of one-way streets that cut through the city in both north-south and east-west directions. If I were to keep heading south on Poplar Street here, I would be out of Centralia really quickly. To the left is the small town of Womack. Womack is home to only 1,100 people. If you weren't from here, you didn't know the area well, or most importantly, if it wasn't for my beautiful graphics, you wouldn't be able to tell that we will have been through three different cities and three different counties while cruising along in this video. It all looks the same. As we head north on the pair of one-way streets that carry the designation of US 51 through town, you can see the Centralia Carillon on the left, or the Bell Tower. Definitely one of the cooler things about Centralia. It was constructed in 1982 and was completed in 1983. Carillons are most often installed in churches. If you don't know what a carillon is, a carillon is basically a musical instrument that can be heard from the top of towers. Centralia's website claims that the town's carillon is amongst the 10 largest carillons in the world. I don't know how true that is, but it makes for a nice community gathering spot for events when they're held. Another cool thing about Centralia is that the town hosts an annual hot air balloon festival. Since you can't legally launch fireworks in the state of Illinois at any time of the year, a hot air balloon festival is a nice alternative, I suppose. Now we are in Central City. As I was saying earlier, it all looks the same, and if you didn't know the area or if it wasn't for my wonderful graphics, you would have no idea that we left Centralia and are now in a completely different city. Central City is not very big, as it's home to only 1,100 people, which is down from a 1940 peak population of 1,500.
As I continued to drive through Centralia, I kept thinking how similar Centralia was to nearby Mount Vernon. Both cities have extremely high violent crime rates and have a large presence of illegal drug usage. Mount Vernon has the amenities of two interstate highways that go through the outskirts of town, whereas in Centralia, you have to drive a little bit in order to get to the interstate. I will say though that I thought that Centralia had the nicer downtown of the two cities. For the last part of this video, I do drive around a couple of blocks that make up downtown Centralia.
As I was sort of mentioning earlier, I thought that downtown Centralia had a nice streetscape. It has potential to be even better though, as there are several abandoned buildings and vacant lots. According to the website ccentralia.com, the Illinois Theater on the right is currently under renovation. Hopefully it can be something special again one day. I always like it when I see older Art Deco style theaters. The same website also says that you can rent a trolley to trot around town in when events and festivals are being held here. Earlier I mentioned the Hot Air Balloon Festival that comes to town annually, and that seems to be the town's biggest event. Once again, I'm on US 51 heading south, but this time I'll be leaving town. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on my channel. Videos on other places like Centralia can be found in my Illinois playlist and in my USA Small Towns playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!